My wife may be cheating on me right now for two weeks what can I do? Hi, I never used to come to talk about my feeling like this online, I usually prefer to be alone to deal with stuff but I need advice and I don't know how to tell the truth to my friend, or to my family. So the story is that my wife got a temporary contract in another country Italy for one month. She was hesitating to take it because we were not together for more than two months this summer because of the freaking virus. But she has been without any job since the beginning of that pandemic and because I want what's the best for her and not for me I said go for it. So we end up staying only one week together in late September and everything was perfect, like it has always been when we are together. But less than one week after she was gone, she was not available to FaceTime a lot and I start to have a weird feeling about the whole thing. She was talking about this guy and she looked happy and I felt like something wrong was starting to happen. I didn't ask, because I don't want to look like the jealous and possessive husband I usually hide and try to deal with those kind of feelings because I judge them bad for both of us. But she started to talk more and more about him and she was showing weird irrational feeling that I didn't understand. I started to have nightmare I guess it usually starts like that. And two days ago she finally said that she had feelings for him more sexual attraction, no love. He is the kind of ducking perfect Italian guy if you see what I mean. He brings her breakfast when she wakes up late and BS like that. She has been really under pressure because of her work there her boss is crazy, and because they are working as two, he understands her. Everyone but the boss and her guy speak only Italian I guess this MFCKR has a sexy accent too. Anyway. She asked me for permission to feel free with him today because she is under a lot of pressure and she had a few breakdowns because she feels bad and guilty about the way she feels for him. She said that she feels trapped in our relationship because of the expectation I have and she would have never thought to tell me something like that because she feels like another person right yet and that I am her first real boyfriend and she never got to do her experiences. I understood that it was useless to bargain because it would just break down my marriage right now instead of maybe later and that it would push her to his arms. To be short, she is gonna try to not FCK this guy but she said that she probably will because she needs someone who understand her right now and because he haven't seen each other a lot in the last few months. She is supposed come back home when her contract ends in two weeks and she said she loves me, it's just an experience and he ll figure the whole thing out together like we always does but I don't know if I'm going to be able to trust her ever again. Like I mean I was planning to have kids and stuff because I thought it would last forever but now I don't know what to think and I definitely can't sleep without pills. Would it be better to wait a few months or a year before to take a decision? Like she came up clean before to actually go insane and she looks sincere about wanting to stay with me. Should I break up as soon as she comes back? It's been only 6 years 3 years married. We don't have kid yet and I love her more than anything in the world but I keep imagine her fucking with an Italian dude. I am lost and ashamed and I don't know what to do, any comment is greatly appreciated. Thank you for your comment, I think you show me a perspective that I could never seen alone. I am going to make an appointment with the lawyer tomorrow. I think I have been pretending that the whole thing isn't real and it's also why I didn't contact my family friends. I am going to do that tonight. Today I cleaned the apartment of all our pictures, I couldn't bear to see us so happy together as so many different circumstances. Now I have to accept it, and make it real by my action. It is just so hard mate, like it was perfect for 6 years and in a couple days my whole world is upside down. Like I just want to stay in the illusion that things are going to work out, that as soon as she will be home everything will be like before. I know it's false, and I know I am lying to myself but I wish I could close my eyes and keep dreaming because right now my heaven turned into hell. For the first time in my life I was happy, she was a serious person with moral values and she always judged other people for their behavior. And after all this time she asked to cheat on me? How can she possibly be the same person I married? I thought about every excuse as I tried to justify the way she is acting in a thousand different way. Maybe he is drugging her, maybe it's the stress, bipolarity, the problems she had in her childhood. I just wanted to hide the truth, because the truth sounds so fake that I can still not believe it. I read all the messages here saying to divorce and at first, I was surprised. I was expecting people to try to take her side or explain to me that sometimes in a relationship as it happens. I still don't understand the situation I am in but I know what I have to do now. But God, 
Just why? I always tried to be the best husband. It felt like my first responsibility, like my first meaning in life. Right now, I feel guilty even if I know that I did my best. I had a project that week and I was not as available as usual. She was so stressed and so emotional. It was hard on me too. Maybe it's why she spent time with Guy. Maybe it's why her feelings appeared. I don't know man, I am just broken inside. I just can't believe it, not her, not us. When we FaceTimed and she told me the truth about how she wanted to duck him, I stayed calm, I didn't want to break those six years like that. I thought, what we have is so precious. I didn't want to be impulsive, so I tried to make her understand what Say was saying. I tried to avoid to push her into his arms. But now I know that even if they didn't sleep together in the end, even if she keeps apologizing, and even if she will be saying that she still loved me and that the whole story was a stupid mistake, that it will never happen again and that our future still exists. I have to do it, I have to get divorce. If you guys have any distraction to fill my days insomnia like any funny movie to watch or fun TV shows that don't talk about love or infidelity, please send me name links as comment or by messages. I am also reading philosophy about stoicism but I need to do other things and I feel too sick to work. Someone sent me a website with advice to help me to deal with it psychologically I haven't eaten since the whole thing started. If you know any great one not the usual BS that I can find easily, it would be nice to share it too. Thank you, guys, for opening my eyes even if I didn't want to look at the truth. It gives me some comfort to know that there are still good people outside, it gives me some hope for the future. I guess there is light at the end of the tunnel. Redditor's reactions. Redditor 1. Dude. Divorce. Don't play the pick me dance. I'm not gonna make assumptions about what they're doing, but she clearly ready to throw it all away for this guy, and have the security of knowing you'll stick by to let this happen. No. You're better than that. Yes, you love her to pieces. But, she's showing you her true colors. No person that really loves you would pine over somebody else. Not only that, but actually follow through on it, then have the audacity to tell you to wait by as she basically has a out in the open affair with him. Please don't do that to yourself. Value your self-worth. Redditor too, she already has fucked him. He's bringing her breakfast. She wanted retroactive permission. Why does she think you will give permission? That makes no sense at all. Two months apart and she's binging other guys? And thinks you will just put up with it? That's a pretty weak marriage. Has she cheated before and got you to accept it? I think you need to decide if you will put up with her infidelity. If you do tolerate this, however, she will do it again. If you won't tolerate it, then you need to tell her not to bother returning home. You need to throw a bucket of cold water on her and tell her that you will divorce her. Redditor 3, dude, divorce. Probably she has already fooled around with him. And most of these flings don't really end soon. He will be in contact with her even after the two weeks end. What if she has another stint there and mind you she will actively seek those out of country stints. What if the AP visits your country? She will make excuse for a weekend and stuff like that. This whole experience thing is a sham to alleviate her guilt and make you a party to it so she can guilt trip you later but you gave consent BS. There are thousands of couples who have only been with each other. Experience will not teach her to be a good loving partner, it will only teach her that they're to seek others whenever she wants and that you will be there with her as her safety net.